Commissioning. Scope of supply. AVLD test counter. Power cable. Exhaust gas probe. Heating hose. USB cable. The device should be installed on the workshop floor. If the device is used in another position, e.g. placed on shelves or other constructions, the device must be secured against dropping. Make sure that the installation site meets the following requirements. The device must not be exposed to direct sunlight. The device must not be exposed to excessive heat. The power supply connection must be freely accessible. Do not place the device directly next to the exhaust. Connect the probe tip to the test and input on the device and make sure that it is properly locked. Check that the quick coupling engages. Connect the heating hose to the gas in connection. Connect the heating cable to the heating connection. Connect the mains plug to the socket. Insert the mains plug into a plug socket. Switch on the AVLD test counter with the power switch. When the device starts, the AVLD test counter displays the bootloader and firmware version and performs a self-test. The device then warms up. Perform device self-test. Connect the exhaust gas probe with the connecting hose to the test-in connection. Make sure that the exhaust gas can flow out unhindered at gas out. After the self-test has been successful, remove the exhaust probe from the test-in. Working with the AVLD test counter. Operation of the AVLD test counter in standalone mode is done by the two buttons and the display. The following symbols occur on the bottom of the display to show the status of the device at a first glance. Heating on off. Warming not active, active. Remote operation via Bluetooth not active, active. IoT module not connected, connected. Keyboard not connected, connected. Remote operation not active, active. To ensure that measurement results are not falsified, the device must be subjected to certain self-tests on a regular basis. If these tests are not performed in time, the device will prompt the user to do so. The following tests must be carried out. Zero check. Measurement with HEPA filtered particulate free air, clean air test procedure, to check if there is any contamination in the gas handling system, every 24 hours. Leakage test. Checks if the gas handling system is airtight, once a month. Corona self-test. Checks the correct functionality of the corona discharge, once a week. FCEM self-test checks the correct functionality of the FCEM once a month. Press the left button to enter the procedure. Enter the vehicle registration number using the two buttons on the device or connecting a keyboard. Click the right button to jump to the next cursor position. Move the cursor to the field enter and click the button to confirm the number plate and then press next. Start the car. Install the probe on the exhaust. Various measured values are collected over a period of 15 seconds and then averaged. The bar shows the single values still required. If the measured value immediately exceeds double the limit value, after the probe has been inserted into the exhaust, measurement procedure may be aborted and the test was not passed. If stabilization does not meet the requirements, an error message appears. The measurement has been performed and the final result is shown on the LC display. If the final result is less than or equal to the limit value, the test is passed. The measurement result can be printed by connecting a term printer to the device. Operation. To perform a measurement in standalone mode, proceed as follows. Start the device. Press the tool sign. Press right to scroll to the item measure. Press enter. The device changes to the prepare measurement state and adjusts the parameters. The device then changes to continuous sampling mode. The measurement value is displayed. In prepare measurement state, the timeout time is counted down. If the parameters cannot be adjusted during this time, the device changes to the error state. The device must be switched off and the error must be corrected.